To begin, drag and drop your overlay into Photoshop. For this example, we'll be using our FireSpark overlays. In this case, our overlay has a black background. To remove this black background, you need to change the blending mode. We find the blending mode here. Click it and then select Screen. You can also play around with the other options, such as Lighten. But in this case, we'll use Screen. Now, we want to resize and stretch the overlay to fit our photo. Press Enter to place. If the overlay is too strong, you can adjust the opacity. In this case, we'll bring it down to maybe 80%. If you have parts of the overlay that might be in the way of your subject, such as some of these sparks here on his face, we can fix that. Click on the layer, figure overlay, and then add a, a layer mask. Now press the B key to bring your brush up. And make sure you have a black color selected. Now just paint over parts that you wish to remove. And there you go, as simple as that. You can also add depth to your photos using overlays. So, same thing, we have our mobile overlay with a black background. So we'll go to the blending mode and change that to screen. Now we'll reposition and resize how we wish, and then press enter to place. The bubble is closer to the camera, so let's add some depth and make it blurry. To do that, make sure your layer is selected, and then go to Filter, Blur, in Gaussian Blur. Then just pick the radius blur that you wish to use. So we'll use about 36, then press OK. We'll do the same thing, change the blending mode to screen, reposition and resize. And maybe we'll put this one a little bit closer to the couple. Right there. 